Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you that future. That future. That future. That future. <laughs> <laughs> As you begin this journey as husband and wife, I want you to remember this. Love is not perfect. It's a fairy tale or a storybook. It doesn't always come easy. Love is work, but most of all, it's realizing that every hour, every minute, and every second was worth it because you did it together. So always remember to lean on God when times are tough, but also thank Him when times are good because He's the one who gave us this amazing word, love. I'm so extremely happy for the both of you and truly honored to share yet another amazing moment in time with the both of you. I hope all your dreams come true together and that you love each other more and more each day that passes. First off, I want to say, I don't see this so much as a wedding as an acknowledgement of fact. I'll explain. My parents used to ask me every time I came home, and they said, what, what are Connor and Han Hannah doing? Are they married yet? And I'm like, Basically, yeah. <laughs> they were together 24-7, and they were pretty much a married couple, and here we are now. So I'm here to acknowledge that y'all been married. <laughs> Forgot what else I was going to say. Connor's mom was right. Connor really can sing. I was in chorus with him. He can sing. And I'm happy. Happy y'all are together. <laughs> I don't have to tell Connor and Hannah how to live their life because they love each other and they know how we feel about them that we love and care about them. But this is the hardest thing I have to do tonight. Um, Connor, I love the first. And now it's your turn. Welcome everyone. We're gathered here today before friends, family, and above all else, God, to witness the holy matrimony of Connor and Hannah. Love and marriage are truly one of God's greatest gifts and accomplishments. Yes, the heavens and the earth are impressive, but the Lord has filled us all, filled all of us with the love and allows us to grow exponentially by sharing it with someone else. And so by giving selflessly to another, we make ourselves stronger, our lives that much richer. It is truly one of the greatest miracles we've been given. Connor, please accept this ring as a token of my true love. Pure love for you. With this I give you my heart and soul. They are yours forevermore. They are yours forevermore. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband or wife. Connor, you may kiss your bride. All the blessed people that are here today that are so blessed to know Hannah and Connor this will forever be the day that they started their life together as a married couple 
and I'm so happy to share it with all of y'all. And I'm so happy to share the, the coming memories going forward. And I love y'all. Hannah and Connor, I want to wish you nothing but happiness, success, and endless love that will burn brighter and stronger between the two of you as your days go by. I love you both very much. Take care of each other always. And as we always say, believe. I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news, and I've got some great news. Good news is, I went to Michigan State, and Coach K is done, and I couldn't be happier. Goodbye from all of college basketball. Go Sparty. The bad news is, I said I'm Uncle Derek, but Courtney lied last night, and you are adopted. So, inside joke. We'll have to fill you all in later. And then the great news, the phenomenal news, and I don't have words for it, is you've got an amazing life partner, and we're all, like, through the moon about it. Very excited. Amazing, congratulations. Good time. Yeah.